Glasgow Warriors went into their clash with Treviso, seeking their fifth win in five Pro 12 games so far this season, and coach Gregor Townsend made nine changes to the winning side for the match in Italy. Treviso faced a daunting task, made worse by the fact that they were still chasing their first win this season, but they started in style. After a Joe Carlisle penalty, they were held up just inches from the try line before the ball was spun wide, and Michel Campagnaro just managed to tumble over for the score. With Carlisle's conversion, Treviso raced to a 10-0 lead in 10 minutes. But it didn't take long for Glasgow to show why they remain unbeaten so far this season. Peter Horn picked a superb line to unlock the Treviso defence, and Stuart Hogg handed on to Tommy Seymour for the Warriors' first try. From that point on, Glasgow flexed their attacking muscle. Their next try arrived after 23 minutes when flanker Tyrone Holmes controlled the ball at the back of a mall and stretched out an arm to take it over the line. Duncan Weir converted and the score was 12-10. Treviso fought back though and started putting pressure on inside the Warriors 22, but Glasgow held strong and swamped the Italians. The pressure told and when the ball popped out the side of the ruck, it was picked up by the best possible man for the visitors. Seymour raced away unchallenged to score his second try of the match, but it was marred by an injury as he dove to score. Treviso fullback Jaden Hayward getting a word or two from the Glasgow players after his elbow appeared to hit Seymour on the back of the head. Seymour recovered, and Weir converted to extend Glasgow's lead, 19 points to 10. Two Carlisle penalties meant it was close at half-time, Glasgow with a 19-16 lead, but the Warriors continued their try scoring in the second half. James Eddy getting their fourth and bonus point try after a pass from Nicola Matawalu. After riding a few tackles, Eddy got the ball down, and Weir again converted. Despite having the bonus points secured, Glasgow wanted more tries. Treviso substitute Alberto Lucchese saw his pass cut out by DTH van der Merwe, who had the gas to outpace Carlisle on the touchline for the Warriors' fifth try. Finn Russell, on as a substitute, took on the kicking duties and added the conversion. And Glasgow had their sixth try just a minute later when a slick feint from Matawalu got him in behind the Treviso defence. His chip over the top was gathered by Sean Lamont, who had a simple finish. Treviso, though, didn't give in and got a consolation score with 18 minutes left to play when Campagnaro went over for his second try, which was converted. The game finished 40-23 to Glasgow, the Scottish side sending out a statement to the rest of the Pro 12. Lots of rugby for you to choose from in the coming weekend, starting with a double helping from the Guinness Pro 12. At the bottom of the table, Edinburgh and the Dragons looking to kickstart their campaigns from 2.30 on 1 on Saturday afternoon. And that's followed by what should be a humdinger at Ravenhill as Ulster welcome last year's runners-up, Glasgow Warriors from 5 on 4. Plenty to choose from from the Southern Hemisphere as well, starting on Friday morning, Otago Manawatu from the ITM at 7.30 on 2. Hit the red button at 10 past 6 for your carry cup as the Eastern Province Kings take on the Pumas, that's on three. Same channel at 7.30 for top 14 matters as Breve travel to Grenoble. Sevens is up and running on Saturday morning from six on four, uh, the opening tournament from the Gold Coast, of course, and on Saturday at 7.30 on Sky Sports 3, it is Auckland against Northland in the ITM. Uh, lots more for you as well in the afternoon from two on the red button on one, it's the Golden Lions against the Free State Cheaters in the Carry Cup, that's followed by Province against the Sharks from five past four. Uh, on Saturday evening at 10 past six, it's the Blue Bowls who welcome the Griquas. Day two of the Gold Coast is on Sunday at six in the morning. And on Sunday evening, what a way to round out a busy old weekend as champions in the top 14 Toulon travel to struggling Toulouse. 7.45 on four. We'll look forward to your company then. Bye-bye. Enjoy Sky Sports Live. On all screens, on the go, and the best bits on demand.